Hey my stars and starettes, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and I am a former teen turned mentor. If you're new to this channel, this is where I provide um, advice for young people and share my experiences so that you can learn from some of my mistakes and get an early start on your success. So without further ado, let's get into it. Woo! All right, so before we get into anything, first, I gotta apologize. I know that that last video that I made, I was sick, I had the stomach flu, I did not feel like doing my hair, my makeup, nothing. I just got on there and I was just like, whatever, I just wanna talk. But I do not wanna do that again because I do not wanna risk, you know, nobody saying that I put disturbing images on the internet. Never again. So I was thinking the other day, well, yesterday, a lot of Disney, like DreamWorks films, Lilo and Stitch, Princess and the Frog, even Frozen. Either the parents passed away in a tragic incident or there were no parents involved at all. It makes people think that the only way to be successful is to be totally alone. No family, like you have to rise from the ashes. And that reminded me of today's topic. I see a lot of videos right now of people really being hard on themselves because they either had to move back with their parents or they feel like they're 17 and a half and they feel like they should have been out living in a mansion by now. Some weird dream fantasy of theirs. When you live by yourself, you feel like you have more independence. That's what we can all agree on. But who's to say that you can't feel independent when you do live with your parents? So I'm gonna share with you in a couple of ways that you can feel independent no matter how old you are, even when you're living with your parents. Number one, I know this one is gonna sound a little crazy. Some of y'all gonna be like, mm -mm, we're not doing that. Contributing to the household. When I had this conversation with my parents, I didn't really know how to feel at first because I was like, oh no, what about the money that I make? What about what I wanna use it for? And then I realized, wait a minute, let me work this out. Many of us have heard the same thing when we pass McDonald's or we pass Dairy Queen and we say, ooh, ooh, I want Dairy Queen, ooh, ooh, I want McDonald's. And you know, we hear that thing. Do you have McDonald's money? And now if you contribute to the household, you can say, yes, I do. I am personally responsible for most of the food that comes in the house. Instead of me getting aggravated and having to maybe eat something or not eat something because I don't have control over that, now I can also add that to the cart. I can add the things that I like to add. That's a way to feel independent because not only am I being responsible and I'm contributing to the household, but I also have the independence to buy what I wanna buy. Everybody is happy in this situation. Number two, when you're when you're in an area with someone, y'all are all bound to get annoyed with each other. That's why it's best for you to have outside activities because outside activities give you a chance to not only do the things you like to do, but also space the time that you have between being in one environment versus being in an environment where you can possibly meet other people and expand your social life. And trust me, trust me, trust me. Like before you, it was just your mom and your dad and they was just having a good old time together, just the two of them. And I'm sure they need a break from you too. Number three, get a job because that way you can be independent because you are making your own way of money. If you really, really have a plan to be like, okay, I wanna move at my place at this time, at this time, you can't just rub a couple of crystals together and manifest it. You need money. Go get a job, save your money, and reach your goals. And that way you can feel independent and not have to wait on someone else to give you what you want. The fourth thing, this is the final thing. Make sure that you have a close friend, a pastor, a therapist, or some sort of person that you can talk to when you're going through a rough time. Of course, you can turn to your family, but sometimes when you're in a, an environment with your family or you have siblings, it can be very chaotic. A lot of times you could be exposed to things. I'm not talking about anything bad. It could just be something that you may not understand. I would suggest you know, having close friends and having a trusted person that you can vent to. Because a lot of times also, when you live with a person, it's like you start to think like that person. So 
you need another party to help you kind of like detach and remember that you have your own frame of thinking. And also maintaining a social life and having maybe a pastor or a priest to talk to or a therapist to talk to can actually help you from becoming a shut-in or like, um, like a misfit because then you're able to properly express your feelings and have an, an avenue to do so instead of holding it in and then it comes out in your behavior. Okay, so that, mm -mm, not my knee. Okay, so those were my four tips on how to still remain independent while living with your parents. Yes, I do acknowledge that there's some con pros and cons with living with your parents. You know, we think about, you know, you can't have friends over, you can't bring a date home. But on a personal level, like that has actually helped me separate like who I should be friends with and who I should be dating and who I shouldn't be friends with and who I shouldn't be dating. Think about it. Anyone who doesn't want you to have a close relationship with your parents or a healthy relationship with your parents probably, number one, wants to isolate you or probably doesn't have a good relationship with their parents and is probably jealous of yours. Either way, it's a recipe for disaster. Use these four tips, implement them, apply them to your life. And then also like, if you have anything else to add or you agree or disagree, don't forget to leave a comment. <laughs> And, you know like share and subscribe that is it thank you so much for watching bye